Okay, guys. Um, I know I promised the MRI, but um, there's just one thing that keeps bugging me, and I wanted to share with you guys. Is that I keep uh, getting people um, referring to stem cells as this big, just general thing, and uh, there's actually a lot of different types of stem cells themselves, and different types of stem cell therapies. And some of the stem cell therapies aren't even actually, um, you know, uh, dealing with stem cells directly. Um, they're not in, they're not extracting or injecting stem cells. Um, so um, I just wanted to clear this up because um, I don't want you guys to end up uh, being in un uninformed and wasting your money on um, therapies that aren't even. What you need so um basically there's there's what they call prolotherapy or which is um kind of a prolification i think is what it's short for therapy where basically it um kind of excels or or um helps the process along um the healing process along by causing inflammation so uh, platelet-rich plasma is um, part of that type of therapy, um, which is very common, and I've heard people uh, refer to that as uh, stem cells. And that is platelet-rich plasma is not stem cells; it's it's blood plasma, um, uh, platelet-rich blood plasma um, that is extracted out of the blood of the patient. And then re-injected into the uh, the patient at the damaged area, and that creates inflammation and also provides healing um, tissues um, from the platelets and the plasma in there. So that does work, and I can see how it works. Um, so one thing to understand is that uh, a really important thing to understand is that uh, stem cells are signaled by the body through the inflammation process so when there's a damaged uh, damage to your tissue or your in our case our uh, our spinal um, the discs in their spine or um, different tissues in the spine when that when they get damaged then the body sends uh, some kind of chemical signal or something and that um, triggers the stem cells and the stem cells say hey if there's something going on I need to go fix it so the stem cells will actually migrate through the tissue of the body um, in that area and that's not I mean it doesn't go from my toes up to my my neck or something but in uh, a localized area stem cells will um, migrate through a certain distance of tissue to uh, repair the damage. So that's uh, how platelet-rich plasma also works, is to trigger the stem cells um, in that area to come and repair it. But it's not, you got to understand it, they're not injecting stem cells into the, uh, the area. Um, the other um, I guess I'm going to put them in three categories that are actually stem cell therapies are um, stem cells that are from other people's tissues, um, stem cells that are from uh, the, uh, from our own body's tissues that is extracted out of our body and re-injected into our body the same day. And the third type is um, stem cells that are extracted out of our body and put in a lab and cultured so they're cultured stem cells and um, and they expand the stem cells by basically uh, um, in the lab they just they grow more uh, they multiply and, and become more stem cells so the third one is what I had down in Spain I had the cultured stem cells um, and the cultured stem cells are are not FDA approved, and the FDA um, will shut um, doctors and clinics down if they are culturing stem cells to be injected um, into a person in the United States. So, um, if 
if uh, you hear about somebody doing stem cell therapy in the U.S., it's either platelet-rich plasma kind of stuff going on, and they're just labeling it falsely as stem cell therapy. Um, it's kind of a f like I explained, uh, or you're getting uh, the same day um, stem cell therapy where they usually they extract it out of the belly uh, fat, little mini liposuction process. Uh, or the the bl blood marrow, um, the bone marrow. They call it a um, blood marrow. I think that's what they call it. Um, and uh, anyway, they take those tissues, um, the bone marrow or the body, uh, the belly fat tissues, uh, whichever one they decide. Sometimes they do both. Um, this they take it, put it in the lab, they kind of basically uh, filter the tissues um, out through a process and uh, spin it in a centrifugal machine uh, which separates the stem cells uh, into one side or the other of the vial and then they, they extract out of that um, vial um, just the stem cells and they inject them into the uh, in our case, the discs in our um, spine. So there's advantages and disadvantages um, other than the, the price. Um, so price-wise, uh, platelet-rich plasma is going to be the cheapest. Same-day stem cell therapy that is non-cultured is going to be um, more expensive. Um, and then the cultured stem cell therapy um, is going to be the most expensive, generally speaking. And of course, you also have the expense of having to leave the U.S. if you live in the United States to have cultured stem cells done. Um, and then I'm not real sure where the uh, if you're getting stem cells done that are f derived from like an umbilical cord or embryonic fluid or whatever. Um, I'm not real sure how the price is on those, but but um, aside from the prices. Um, the same day therapy is going to be um, kind of middle of the run road uh, in price and the stem cells that are extracted out of the body like I, ex I explained um, are fully matured stem cells and they're ready to be re-injected right away and when they do hit the, the damaged area and, and there's the inflammation there, they uh, are ready to transform into that tissue and, and repair the, the damage um, immediately because they're they've already matured to that point. Whereas, um, like I had down the cultured stem cells, they are they're still not um, matured yet. Um, they're like a um, embryo in the in the womb of a mother. I mean the they're, they're just freshly brand new uh, cells um, and they haven't reached the maturity level yet um, in their growth process to become, uh, to be able to transform into other uh, tissues and repair the body. So um, from what I understand it takes nine months for cultured stem cells to really like kick in and, and start doing their job. So um, that would explain to me, that explains uh, a lot better once I understood that, that when I was in Australia, seven months after I had my cultured stem cells injected, um, my the, those stem cells still hadn't really repaired the damage on my disc yet. Um, but in my mind, I was at that time, I was thinking, oh, I'm ready to go, like I should be, these stem cells should be working and, and helping me out and so I pushed myself a little I was thinking a little bit more than I should but it was obviously a, a lot more than I should have and um, that's why I think I, I damaged myself so badly um, because uh, I was still weak as just like it had been before um, my, my disc was still weak so but after I damaged myself, I had a tremendous amount of inflammation and those stem cells that were in the disc, some of them probably came out and uh, 
they probably, uh, when that happened, when it ruptured, when the disc ruptured and the insides blew out into my spinal canal, um, I think some of those stem cells probably found their way to the, the nerve root, uh, sciatic nerve, and other tissues and, and helped repair other tissues outside of the disc as well. So, and it triggered the process, so they were like kicked into gear and started uh, um, r repairing things, um, I think, at that point. So, um, even though uh, a lot of them probably weren't um, mature enough yet, um, there's still probably some of them, a, per uh, a percentage of them that were, were had matured to the point where they could uh, start repairing the disc. So. Anyway, I hope this helps. Um, if you guys are uh, in pain, suffering, I know how it feels, and I'm, I'm, I just, the worst thing is when you don't have hope. And uh, I remember thinking how I felt uh, two years ago when I was trying to figure all this out, and I was just getting worse um, before I had the stem cells done. Um, it just felt like there was no hope, and. Um, that's the worst feeling. I mean, I can deal with the pain for some time if I know it's not going to last forever. But anyway, just know that there is hope and um, that this stem cell thing, uh, stem cells, they work for me. If they work for me, even after I damaged myself, um, after I had the stem cells injected, um, and two surgeries in the last 10 years before I had them injected where they really uh, cut into me pretty good and damaged a lot of tissue in there. If I can come out of it this good um, with being all these things considered uh, how damaged I was and um, you guys can um, I know that you can improve so um, just be smart about what you're getting done and not waste your money on things and also uh, try to get uh, ultrasound guided um, injections instead of the fluoroscopy x-rays because uh, as we're in the gamma rays will destroy the stem cells um, which makes sense I mean you don't go x-raying babies uh, unborn babies you use ultrasound on them to to get the images um, and the other thing, um, I had another point, I forgot it. <laughs> anyway, um, oh yeah, uh, if you're doing the, the discs in the back, um, try to get the uh, bone marrow um, uh, stem cells um, because they are more compatible or capable and compatible to, to the types of tissues that they need to uh, transform into. So uh, the belly fat stuff, um, isn't the ideal um, type of stem cells that, uh, for our problems. So I hope this helps. Um, I know uh, that company Regenex, or I think that's how you call them, in the Cayman Islands they do a culture of stem cells and uh, they um, they do a platelet rich plasma injection first and then after that they inject the cultured stem cells I think the next day or, or same day or something um, and to me that's the ideal uh, maybe not ideal but um, it's way it's a, a step up from what I had done in Spain because you're getting the immediate uh, healing effect from rich plasma and it jump starts the, uh, the um, inflammation process and then the cultured stem cells are in there for the long run and you're getting a lot more um, uh, a much much higher number of stem cells injected than you would if you do the same day uh, stem cell treatments so anyway that's it for now um, thanks for uh, watching these videos um, I guess um, I'm just trying to help you guys out so because when I was trying to research all this I could only find like testimonial videos from people that were um, being like uh, like 
the clinics were doing the videos themselves of the patients they worked on and uh, it just seemed like it was kind of biased and and um, there was hardly any like videos and testimonies of people that had a uh, that didn't didn't have any kind of like affiliation with anybody so so I don't I'm not like I don't have no connection with anybody so I mean obviously I had the stem cells done in Spain and I'm saying that Regenex is probably a better um, option but either way I mean I'm doing great anyway even without the platelet rich plasma stuff that Regenex does so anyway um yeah just hang in there and keep uh keep your head up and and uh keep moving forward and i uh, hope you guys um uh, feel good soon all right